I grew up about two miles from here, a place called Relief here in Kentucky. I got an older brother, twin sister, and we basically grew up in the tobacco patch. Growing up on a farm, you develop patience. You have to. There's no way you can rush the seasons. No way you can uh, rush working in the tobacco or the hay. You had to take it uh, one day at a time, one plant at a time. And I think that carried over to my photography is I get in a place where I know something's going to happen. I'll stay there for hours. I'll watch, I'll wait, I'll be ready. I'll have a camera set up, I anticipate. And if a, a scene or if a shot comes up, I got to be ready to get it. I may have seconds to get it, then I've got to get it. Then it's hit my shutter. Uh, so I'm persistent. It was just a fun hobby, I always had a little pocket camera or an Instamatic, some kind of camera like that, just to play around with. But once I got into the Peace Corps, I decided to get a more serious SLR camera and uh, to photograph my trip. Initially, I couldn't wait to leave here because I wanted to explore. I wanted to see what was over the next hill. Uh, I was always curious what was going on in the rest of the world. So after getting into a big portion of the world, I came back here with a, a whole different attitude toward my own place. It looked different to me. It was a little more exciting than it was when I was raised here. They were all great places and they were, a lot of them, would have made a good place to settle into, but there's always been something that pulled me back to here. Uh, I think I've found out what a lot of people already knew that are from here is that this is a great place to live. What is the light doing? I settle into getting a composition. Sometimes it sneaks up on you. Textures, I look for textures. I really like the morning fog. I'm a morning person. I enjoy getting up early and getting on top of a ridge and just looking. If the fog and the light cooperates, I'll come out with something. If not, I've had a good morning anyway. Sometimes I like serene lake shots. Uh, when the fog is just lifting and you can barely see old little stumps or pieces of uh, trees sticking out. If there's a storm brewing, especially snowstorms, I like them because they're very dynamic they turn your landscape into an abstract. And if you're lucky, you'll find something flying into your photographs or coming through. It may be some geese, it may be the wind blowing it through, or you'll see an abstract of the trees in the background through the snowstorm. Initially, when I first started out 20 years ago, the local people really supported me. The local festivals, West Liberty, the Sorghum Festival, they had open arms. Paintsville, uh, I was very welcome there, and the local people want something that's from here. They want something that's uh, they can recognize, that's got beauty to it. They appreciate it. Things that I took for granted or were ordinary turned out to be unique and special. And it may be something so simple as uh, some of our streams or our hills, our mountainous region. 
uh, especially like this time of year, you got the fall of the year, you got colors popping out that you don't find anywhere else. I guess it's a feeling. I, I feel peaceful. It's quiet. I, I like the changes of the season. It's different. It's, it's different.